Welcome to the channel, folks. Mr. H here. If you're new here, this is episode four, I think, uh, in a series I call Short Sighted. Uh, it's just where I review short films, basically. Uh, I took a small hiatus from this because uh, I was just kind of reviewing the format and things like that. You guys still seem to really like this format. This is actually a submission by Flix Digital. I actually went over uh, and checked out this guy's repertoire, his like resume, quite Quite wide, actually, to be perfectly honest. Uh, this one's called The Devil's Passenger. It's on the screen there. Uh, and just as a word of a what, as, as you know, word to warning, obviously, this is a submission. I'm, I'm still going to review it completely fairly. Uh, I'll talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. It seems to be my new re review format. I quite like it. Uh, and just as, as an FYI, what uh, this chap said in the email was, I would like to submit to you to review the new horror short film titled The Devil's Passion, The Devil's Passenger. Uh, is, the Devil's Passenger is about Lauren, played by Colleen Kelly, who witnesses what she thinks is a kidnapping of Shannon in a white cargo van. Unable to call the police, Lauren follows the van, uh, and this soon leads her down a road of terror. So we'll check it out. Uh, you'll review it with me. I'll pause it in sections here and there. Uh, there will be a brief moment throughout this review where I pause and I say here will be a mid-roll, things like that. I'm trying this out as a new thing uh, for ad placement because a lot of people have said, oh, well, when when you place ads, it just interrupts the whole flow of it. So we'll, we'll, we'll review it and let's get into it. So let's take a look at this first. Reading. Huh. Wow, okay, so, so right. A few things that jumped out to me straight away. The grading is really, really good. So that's fantastic. Nice to see. Uh, it doesn't look cheap. It doesn't look oversaturated. It doesn't look washed out. They've They've done something really nice with the grading on this. That makeup effect's really, really good. Um, a true testament, and we'll see this further down the line, hopefully, because I haven't seen this yet. So it'll be interesting to see if they've carried the, the, the dirt over to her nails. Seems to be a lot, of, you know, people miss that, tends, tends to be. I really like the look of this so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going. Bad, bad acting there. I'll say that. I guess you would follow it though. All through the. N mm, all right. My car would run out of gas. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! No, 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 come on. Not a bad effect. Shit. Okay. You gotta go, you gotta go. You gotta go. Oh, God. I'll pause it there. Um, normally, I hate, like, exposition from characters as they talk to themselves and things like that, because I always think that nine times out of ten, you can kind of get a feel for it. But in these short films where you've got, what is this, four minutes, 29 seconds, exposition from characters as they talk to themselves, uh, you know, like they, they narrate what's going on. It is actually important. You have to forgive it because they have such a short space of time to to put the narrative together. Look, Colleen, I think this this uh, woman's name was Colleen Kelly. Acting's fine. It's, it's fine. It's not a standout. It's a short film. Um... The grading's quite good so far. Again, this is 4 minutes, 29 seconds. So, it's... I'm hooked. Like, I'm interested. It, it's hooked me. I want to watch more. Um, and what's done that for me, for me anyway, was the grading, the instant kicker. Uh, but it is let down by the rather cliche honking of the horns. Oh, you got to go, you got to go, that kind of thing. Because uh, reality is you just put your middle finger up and say, F off, mate. Someone's been kidnapped there. Do you know what I mean? So, I'll forgive it, but I am hooked. Okay, okay. Get 
lens flare? It's not bad. Again, I'll pause it here. It's not bad. The in and out of focus shots, quite well done. Uh, that's, in fairness, that's actually good framing. So if you're looking at it, this screen potentially isn't the best for it, but it's a good representation anyway. The, the van is pretty much dead center in frame. That, that is quite good framing. Uh, and what I'll do just now is there should be a quick pause and there'll be an ad here. If not, I've sounded like an idiot and there hasn't been one. Cheers. That supports the channel. <laughs> ah, okay. good <laughs> that would scare you shit my pants doing that Very interesting. It almost, it's almost a bit like, um, ah, what's the name of that film? Car Comes to Life, you know? I can't remember that. Stephen King. God damn, why can't I remember the name? Just all of a sudden can't remember it. It's almost a bit like that. In, in my head, what I'm thinking is that the, the car is obviously occupied by an entity and it feeds off them as they go through. I mean, I don't know. I've, again, I've, I've just paused it here. Not bad. The sound mixing is pretty good, but it is let down by the dubbed over scream. Um, it tends to be a recurring theme in horror films. A lot of people do this dubbed over scream. You could see it quite easily. Uh, it does let it down. But interesting. A little bit. Didn't go as I thought it would anyway. I'm so sorry. Ah! What's she got to do with it then? <clears throat> <laughs> that makeup is really good. That's really good makeup. It genuinely is good makeup. A lot of, like, in bigger tentpole films, you don't tend to see it so much these days because a lot of actors don't want to get really, really grubbed up. They still maintain an air of... Uh, beauty behind it, you know, like their teeth are not black and the things like that. I couldn't really see their teeth, but you know, when you see really gross looking people, the teeth are all messed up, they've got crap under their nails, all ripped apart and things like that. This is good makeup, like she looks really, really grubby. Uh, and that's what you want, right? It's, it's what should happen. So that grading there is nice, I like it. Framing, again, really good. Cool. I liked it. I like that a lot, actually. Um, so it was Dave, Dave uh, Bunsen. I've, I've ruined your name. I'm really sorry, mate. Uh, you, you sent this to me. I quite liked it. Look, it's not, it's not right up there. 
Uh, there's some things that let it down, like I say, like sound mixing overall is pretty damn decent. The the score was non-intrusive, which is again really really important when we come to uh, horror movies. Really 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 important uh, that a score is non-intrusive, but it just adds to accentuate the uh, you know the film that you watch. So that was good, but the the dubbing over screen was terrible. Uh, forgive some of the effects, like the effects of a floating and stuff. I can forgive because. These things have shoestring budgets, so I, I will forgive that for sure. Uh, overall, I really, really, really enjoyed it. What I'll do now is I'll just, I'll just say, look, straight up, there should be an ad here as well. Um, if there isn't, then, then never mind. But if you watch these adverts, it really does actually go a long way to supporting the channel. Um, anyway, back to it. I really, really enjoyed this. Uh, thought it was good. Thought it was really, really good. The reason why I do these short-sighted film reviews, just as an FYI, if anyone cares about what I'm doing with this channel, with this series in particular, gives you guys an insight into how someone reviews movies, um, I guess. Like, what they pick out, why they like certain things. Um, it's just as, like, a, a peek behind the curtain uh, from a movie reviewer's perspective. That's why I started this series. Uh, and short films are potentially the best way to do it. It also spotlights a short film for people to watch. Go check it out. Uh, this guy actually has quite a, a bunch of short films. So please do go and check them out. Uh, I haven't seen his stuff. So I don't know. But go and check them out. Uh, I'll link this one down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching episode 4 of Short Sighted. Hit subscribe for more. If you're a returning subscriber, uh, please do go and check out some new merchandise that I've dropped. There's a link to my represent page down below in the description box support your boy grab some awesome cthulhu merch uh it is a bit jokey it's supposed to be i've got some really serious designs coming up as well but thank you so much for watching as always guys i've been mr h take care